Is Jesus in the Talmud? That is a very good question because that has been argued for centuries. Some Christians might tell you, yes, Jesus is in the Talmud, and the Talmud talks about Jesus in a very derogatory way. It is very important to understand that Jesus was a very common name back in those days. Look at Josephus. He wrote about at least 20 to 27 different people whose name was Jesus. Even Paul in Colossians 4.11 referenced someone else by the name of Jesus. So there were many people in those days by the name of Jesus. So that can make it confusing. In the Talmud, it talks about a few people by the name of Yeshu. Now what or who Yeshu is, is another point of contention amongst Jewish scholars. Most of them say, well, Yeshu is probably a short form of Yeshua, just like Josh is for Joshua. A few people might tell you that Yeshu is a Hebrew acronym that means Yamak Shemo Vazikro, which means uh, may his name and memory be erased. But that's just a theory. And there is no conclusive evidence that that's really what it is and what it means. So don't buy into that one. So both of these Yeshu characters in the Talmud have similarities to that of Jesus of Christianity. For example, executed on the eve of Passover. Now, the Gospel of John says that Jesus was executed on the eve of Passover, but Matthew, Mark, and Luke says that the Last Supper was on the eve of Passover and he was executed on Passover itself. So there's a discrepancy. And this Yeshu in the Talmud went down to Egypt for a time, just like Jesus did when he was younger. So there's a similarity. So there are some similarities like that, but there are some things that are certainly not similar at all. But the most compelling evidence that these two people by the name of Yeshu is not the Jesus of Christianity, the first one lived a hundred years before Jesus was born. And the other one lived a hundred years after Jesus was born. So obviously not the same person. And one of them, according to the Talmud, had only five disciples. And their names were Matai, Nikai, Buni, Netzer, and Toda. Does that sound like Jesus and his twelve? And the way this Yeshu was executed is also different. It says he was stoned by the Sanhedrin, whereas you know that Jesus was crucified by the Romans. And Yeshu hung up a brick and worshipped it. You know that Jesus of Christianity would never do that. Also, they say around that period in history, there were 100,000 Jews executed. How many of those had the name of Jesus? Probably many of them. In the 13th century, King Louis IX of France wanted to know, is this Jesus in the Talmud, the same Jesus of Christianity? Is this Yeshu, this Jesus in the Talmud, the same Jesus of Christianity? So he called one of the greatest rabbis of his day, Rabbi Yechiel. And Rabbi Yechiel said, King Louis, not every Louis born in France is the king.